Let me show you how I 3D print a skull. I'm using the Creality K1 Max. It's one of the largest um, of the Creality's with a 300 by 300 by 300 mil uh, bed. I love the fact it's all enclosed. Keeps everything nice and clean. First things first, we download the Creality Slicer and this is it with a piece of the skull already on. Then work on some of the settings. We, uh, we put an infill in, I only put 10% on this to make it a bit lighter. Um, the supports, I'm gonna use tree supports. We're also gonna put a brim raft on. Click the slice button, then wait for it to slice. It can take a little bit of time, but here it is afterwards. There you go. That's what it looks like once it's all sliced. There are all the supports. Then we're gonna send this over to the printer. Um, we do it by clicking on the buttons here, but before we do that, let's get the printer ready to roll. So let's head back over to the printer. Um, you've got to make sure the bed is lovely and clean, which it is there. Now what I'm going to do as well, which is very important, is we're going to use some glue. There you are. It looks a bit excessive, but do not worry, because it melts in lovely when the temperature rises and it's going to cause a nice sticky plate. Now. I'm going to shut it all up, um, everything's ready to go, and we're going to send over the print. And just like magic, it has actually sent it over. There you go, it's off, there's the first layer going. It's 70% there, and it's looking good! <laughs> it is, um, with all the tree supports still on, um, these take a little bit of uh, patience to get off but you do literally sometimes just pull them off. Um, let me see if I can do it. So there you go. Um, and as you can see, these tree supports just literally pull off, okay? Now, don't be afraid to pull them, uh, but remember, be gentle closer to closer to the, um, the teeth and things like that. Um, but I'm literally gonna just start peeling it away. Um, and once you get going, honestly, they're a doddle. So you see there, just grab and pull it away. Um, there's a few here, look, see that one? Pull away, and I, before you know it, you've done it. So I'm just gonna keep going, and then I'll speed this video up so you can see the final result. Now sometimes I use little tools, provided, as you can see. That took me four minutes, guys, four minutes. And as you can see, oh, there's a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes you will miss a little bit. Now, what I like to do is around some of these really hard places with teeth, um, not to break the teeth, just use little tools to get right in there. It's pretty much there now. You can kind of see where we're going. So 